Frances Benamou shines as Elodie in Prayer for the French Republic, and today we're meeting up with the actress to talk all about her Broadway debut and how much she loves Brooklyn. Fran, it is so great to see you. So nice seeing you. Congratulations on your Broadway debut. Thank you. So you started playing Elodie Benamou off Broadway yes. in Prayer for the French Republic. Tell me about the show and the journey to getting here. It's a beautiful story about a family. I get to play Elodie Benamou. We share the same last name, which, which is, is a crazy. total coincidence. And the younger brother experiences an attack based on the fact that he's Jewish. So the play talks about anti-Semitism and whether to stay or leave home. His home doesn't seem safe anymore. And this show or the play was written way before current events that are yes. taking place today. What has that been like? It does land differently considering the things that are happening in the world. It's a tough subject. The fact that we're doing this play in this time is pretty special to me. And you played the role and you won a Drama Desk Award and a Lucille Lortel Award. I couldn't like believe Tony's it. of Off-Broadway, right? It was, pretty, it was pretty amazing. So even though you didn't grow up in New York, you've lived here for a long time. Yeah. So you're officially a New Yorker. I think so. But you live in Brooklyn. What do you love about Brooklyn? I love Brooklyn. It's so neighborhoody. And Williamsburg, Brooklyn is perfect for me because I'm such a foodie and there's so many good restaurants here. And you're going to take me to one of your favorites today, yes. right? I'm okay. so excited. Good, because I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are here at Lillian Brooklyn, which has been around for eight years, and it is still one of the hardest reservations to get in New York City, but this just happens to be your neighborhood restaurant. <laughs> it is. Lucky enough of me, I live really close by, and I remember the first time I came, I was like, oh, now I get why you can't get a reservation. It's really special, and you are a real foodie. Your family's in restaurants. Tell me about that. Yeah, my brother's a chef. He lived in New York. You know, he started working at different restaurants. He ended up opening his own place called Beaker and Gray in Miami. So I miss him. We hang out in real life, so I know that yeah. you have great taste in food. Yes. So you picked out some of your favorite dishes today. What are they? Well, first to start the focaccia with the green garlic butter, grilled clams with Calabrian chili and breadcrumbs, and then the last one I haven't tried. They're beet filled with ricotta shavings and also some poppy seeds. The Calabrian chili oil is ridiculously good. I can't stop eating it. So, so how well. do you get through a three hour show every night? Are you starving? Mm -hmm. <laughs> starving. I have snacks. Really? A big old spoon of peanut butter. And then during the show we eat matzo. Another hard part of your job, which is being a mom. Yeah. yeah. So your six year old daughter just saw the show. She did. She kept telling me, Everybody else gets to see it. She sat through the whole show. And another thing we do is with Nancy Robinette, who plays my great-great-grandma, we do superhero poses because she had read an article where it said if you do these poses, they empower you. So it became a ritual which we've been doing since Off-Broadway. So now, you know, actors, we, we can be very superstitious. Uh -huh. So it has to get done. Let's now we know open. what you all are doing backstage. Yeah, you think we're all just like primping? No, <laughs> we're, we're getting weird. <laughs> Congratulations on your Broadway debut. Thank Hopefully you. maybe we'll see Tony's. Uh, I don't know. All right, well we're gonna manifest <laughs> that right here. Thanks, Lauren. Congratulations, it's so you. good to see you. Cheers. Cheers.